Hi all. In this video, we are going to see how to use shared repository in Ginger. So let's start. This is a Ginger. So first I will just create a new solution to show you how can we use the shared repository. Okay. I'm just creating a new solution. Select folder. Okay, and then create. So I have created one uh, uh, solution over here. So uh you will see the shared repository item under the resources tab okay and here is a shared repository okay and uh, here are multiple sections like activities group activities actions and variables so first of all we are going to see what is shared repository okay a shared repository is a centralized repository within a ginger for sharing variables, actions, activities and activities group across one or more business flows present in the solution. Sharing ensures the reusability of the component and reduce the mean time to maintain the automation. So, okay. So, and those uh, component uh, we have added in shared repository which are available under this section if we added the activities in a shared repository that activity is available in activities section and if we added the actions in a shared repository they are available in action section okay and if you added the variables in a shared repository they are available in variable section as if now we haven't uh, we not added anything uh, in a shared repository that's why here nothing is present okay so first uh, we are going to create uh, some uh, flows and uh, so this is a default activity okay so first i am just uh, changing the group name okay remain the activities group okay so this is our uh, default group i am just giving it as a group okay 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 and then i'm just creating another group create new activities group and then uh, group to group b okay as you can see here we have two activities group group a and group b okay Now in activity one, I'm just going to add one action. Okay, so I can show you how can uh, we uh, make the actions as a, a moving uh, shared repository. Okay, so I'm just going on this add actions, then now uh, um, actions library, and I'm just uh, taking the UI element actions. Okay. So I'm just double clicking on this uh, UI element action and changing its name as a team one, okay. And uh, I'm just changing its okay, not team one as a username, okay. User name. and then changing its operation settings, uh, located by expert. And then uh, text box okay set value and uh, I'm just uh, as a ginger giving the value okay so and seeing these changes yes okay 
now i have created this uh, username actions and i, I want to uh, i am going to make it as a uh, initial repository okay so i'm just clicking on these three dots and add to shared repository okay and then uh, i want to move it into the shared repository then just next and finish okay as you can see here uh, this star is uh, uh, indicating that uh, this action is in our shared repository okay uh, you can also see this uh, action into re, uh, share repository under this resources tab and share repository after clicking on uh, actions as you can see here our uh, username action is also uh, showing in share repository okay so now i want to uh, use this action uh, into my uh, this group b okay in, the, in this new activity so as if now in this activity there is no any actions i'm just uh, clicking in add actions and under this uh, i'm just clicking on here as a shared repository okay and uh, under this i'm just clicking on actions okay as you can see here or uh, this username action is also shown in this section I'm just selecting this and uh, clicking on this add to flow okay as you can see here uh, this action is okay this action uh, I have added into share repository so that's why now I am also able to uh, add this action into another activity so as you, uh, you can see here uh, this all its operation setting is uh, still same there is no any changes okay now uh, we are going to see how to uh, make the activity as a uh, move into the shared repository okay so i am just creating one more new activity okay next activity okay and then this finish here uh, as you can see here uh, i have created one more activity okay and uh, now i'm just uh, adding one more uh, actions in this activity too okay mm, like a browser action i'm just added and now i want to uh, move this activity to into shared repository i'm just clicking on this three dot and add to shared repository okay so in uh, for activity uh, here are uh, two options like uh, regular instance and a link instance a uh, regular instance uh, just make the copy of the activity okay so if we make the changes in a, a different fl uh, flow they that uh, changes will not affect in a sh shared repository but in link instance if you make the changes in a another flow that uh, changes will get affected in the shared repository also okay so this is the basic difference so i'm just uh, uh, clicking as a regular instance and then just finish okay yes as you can see here our activity to uh, it get added into the shared repository this star sign is shows the that uh, this activity is added into the shared repository okay uh, this uh, activity is also available into the shared repository now we can see here uh, under the activities tab okay as you can see here uh, this activity 2 and uh, the browser action okay first i will just uh, save these changes 
and then I'm just clicking on business flow okay and uh, now I want to add this uh, means I have already added this uh, activity in the shared repository but now uh, that shared repository activity I want to add in a group B okay now I'm just clicking on this plus sign then I click on share repository okay and under this uh, activities tab you will see that activity tools is uh, in share repository and this activity tools I want to add in group B okay so I'm just uh, selecting this and just uh, clicking on this uh, add to business flow okay and uh, here selecting the in which group I want to add I'm selecting the group B okay and uh, then just uh, selecting as a link instance or regular instance and then making as a regular instance okay select as you can see here our activity to uh, it's added in a group b okay now i'm just creating one more activity okay uh, next and like uh, activity three okay and then just finish so i have uh, created one more activity in a group a now i'm just uh, uh i want to add some action in this activity three match from the action library like uh, some your element action okay and i'm just uh, changing my name as a uh, some Give the name as a name, okay, and then uh, changing its operational setting, okay, by expert, then element then as a text box, set value as a um, Google. Okay, uh, first I'm just seeing these changes. Save, close. Now, now I'm just uh, uh, adding this activity three uh, into the shared repository as a link instance. Okay, I'm just selecting as a link instance. Then next and finish. So as if now you can see the difference between the okay uh, in these two okay this star shows that uh, this activity is uh, added into the uh, shared repository as a regular instance and this linking sign shows that uh, this activity is added in shared repository as a link instance okay so uh, whatever changes we make in a link instance that also gets affected in a shared repository okay but the regular in a regular instance uh, uh, it's a, uh, the changes is not reflected in a shared repository okay so now i am just adding this uh, activity 3 in a uh, group b okay as a link instance okay and just uh, clicking you know on activity here and then just click on this add action sign okay now i'm just clicking here on the share repository under the activities this activity 3 okay this sign is showing the link instance and i'm just clicking on this add okay and selecting group b select Okay, as you can see here, this uh, uh, activity 3 is added in a group B. Okay, so now we will see the, the changes first. As you can see here, it's a link instance, uh, its operational setting, uh, same as the activity uh, in a group A. I will just make changes in a activity 3 in a group A. If you want to make changes in a link instance, 
so you have to click on this uh, sign edit activity because uh, after uh, adding the activity in a shared repository as a link instance so by default the operational setting gets disabled if you want to edit this you just click on this uh, edit activity tab of uh, sign and then just click on yes okay so now you are able to edit this uh, operational settings okay now we are uh, we are going to see how can you make the variable as a uh, into the shared repository and uh, first i'm just setting here as a variables okay and just creating the new variables okay as a okay variable number okay add variable number let's double click on it and its initial value is uh, 0 and just give me a 10 and general setting just um, changing the variable name as a number 1 okay so this is our you know, variable so i'm just uh, making this as a uh, adding it uh, adding to the chart repository okay activate okay and then just click on finish okay as you can see here this variable is added into the shared repository okay now we will see how can we uh, add our activity group into the shared repository just click on this three dot okay and then just uh, below add activities group to shared repository just click on this option okay so under this group a the uh, whatever uh, activities we have we can we are going to add this into the shared repository so this uh, regular instance and link instance option is only uh, available to the activities not for activities group or a variable or actions it just uh, available to the activity okay uh, as per your requirement you can make uh, uh, these changes and just uh, click on finish yes okay now we will see the whatever uh, activities actions variable and uh, activities group we have added in shared repository we are just uh, take overlook of, of it as you can see here in this resource tab under shared repository you will you you are able to see that uh, whatever activities group you have added into shared repository this activity group a then activities these are the three activities which we have added into the shared repository and then actions and one variable number one okay uh this is how you can use the shared repository in a ginger solution uh, which increases the reusability of the uh, um, activities or uh, actions or uh, variable or uh, activities group okay that's all in this video if you have any query you can reach to us this is our support channel okay for for a uh, ginger help uh, to read this documentation you can just refer this link okay thank you